Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Hope you are doing well. So Sagittarius, this reading will be for you if you have any Sagittarius placements or if you are dealing with one. So today, guys, I'll be doing a general reading for you and I'll be doing a love reading. To start your reading, I will pull three angel numbers. All right. So let's get straight into it, guys. All right. And if you haven't done already, please like, subscribe, comment. OK, I really appreciate you all. So let's get straight into your reading, Sagittarius. Okay, I'm going to say it. I just heard the stars are aligning. So things are coming to fruition. Things are happening for you. They will start happening for you. You're going to notice it's an increase of uh, positive things. Okay, it could come in the form of um, opportunities, uh, new friendships, a new connection, um, moving. It feels like the ace it feels like an like you know with the tarot cards ace new beginnings okay if it, it feels like that and probably like the tens as well yeah tens and aces it feels like that so um something a cycle's being closed out basically there's there's a cycle that's being closed out and you're moving into the next stage in your life a, a positive um stage okay let's see all right three angel numbers for Sagittarius wow that's it's really come out in the cards Sag it's really come out in the cards I'll tell you what it says give me one second wow okay I, I really like this these haven't come out in a while for me so um, in my reading so let's see number five okay I am adaptable which is great because of what I've just said. OK, you guys will need to adapt and it's 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 for your highest good. OK, all right. So we have flexibility is your forte. When life throws you a curveball, you can easily adapt to new circumstances and find excitement in the unexpected change, which I just picked up intuitive messages. OK, um, be brave and bold in your endeavours. Love that. Let me have number 77. I am brave, okay? You will need to be in order to um, face new challenges. Um, um, let's just say work on things in your life, in, in different areas of your life that you may have not been as confident or um, maybe had little faith in. Like those things, it's going to be really working for you, all right? So 77, I am brave. It is time to move on from the old patterns, habits and fears, 10 like I said number 10 endings okay ace do I need cards but I'm gonna do it anyway I'm just ignore me anyways now is the time to walk in the direction of your biggest desires and ambitions now is the time to be bold and brave okay thank you spirit for backing me up love it then we have the last one last angel number for you before we get into the into the, into the general reading is number 14 i am practical okay it says here you are open-minded and always up to try something new yet you are wise enough to stop and think before you jump into things this pragmatic approach helps ensure your time attention and efforts are meaningful all right absolutely love that for you guys oh i've got hay fever my nose is a little bit itchy general general okay i'll use this one General for uh, Sagittarius, please. Please tell me about them. Someone's, someone's going to be flirting with you or be very um, all up in your ear, um, <laughs> telling you nice things. Oh, my hay fever's to start to play up. Don't know why, so annoying. Um, okay, Sagittarius General, please. What's going on for them generally? Thank you. A few cards come out there. So we have the moon, justice, ten of wands, and then six of wands. You are overcoming something, something that once seemed unfair, something filled like, why did it go that way? Like I tried, maybe it's a thing where I tried my best and it didn't work out. It's, that's for a reason. Or if it's some kind of, um, if you've been in a dark place or you felt like you couldn't um, understand or see certain things that were happening either within you or um, let's say internally or externally things are making sense now we have the justice card here okay things are balancing out uh, more for you now Sagittarius okay things are becoming more aligned uh, let's just say 
the car uh, your karma good karma is coming back to you okay we have the ten of wands this feels a lot like um I, you understanding a lot of situations so you're accepting it and moving on that feels a little bit like scorpio's reading that i posted before this one so you may be on the cusp of scorpio and sagittarius or you may have scorpio placements okay um very very important time for you right now i w i want to say this um strike while the iron's hot um opportunities are coming to you and they will come to you how you go about it is almost like the universe is saying if i put this opportunity or this person it, um who's helpful or whatever is going to help you in whatever you're doing whether it's if you are wanting a new relationship or to improve your relationship or if it's about friendship or uh business there's going to be some I, i'm getting actually a few people for you it's not just going to be one pe person there's going to be a few people i heard six up to six at the same time probably not um all in all when you really reflect at some point maybe later on in the year and you're like do you know what? Yeah, that person, they're great for that, that person, that one. It could be a combination of new people, um, new friends, old friends or new business. Uh, let's just say different people in your life. OK, family, friends, maybe a partner, whatever it is. It could be. Yeah. So it's different a combination of people um, who will help you to progress to the next stage of your life. OK, um six of six of ones this is you being recognized for your achievements this is you um being appreciated a lot of thank yous okay it's getting a lot of attention all right okay uh so we've got um cancer there we've got libra we've got leo and we have aries and sagittarius as well what else would you like uh sagittarius to know king of swords and then the queen of swords there we go I'm getting very um, important discussions, very, um, even if you're having fun while doing it, but it's like getting the job done. There's a lot of things that's getting the job done, uh, reaching reaching goals, okay? Um, smart planning, I want to say as well. Something to do with your schedule may change as well um, in order for you to uh, accomplish some things, Sagittarius. So maybe you guys could be dealing with a uh, with a air sign as well, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. I want to say if you've got any Scorpio placements, absolutely watch the uh, Scorpio reading that I posted before this one. Okay, I feel like there is very likely some messages in there for you. Okay, that will kind of dive deeper into that. Anyways, let's move forward. Oh, you're also balancing out like, your masculine and feminine energy. Okay, so if you are a female uh, Sagittarius you are embracing the masculine side with the, like the go-getter getting things done being brave being bold okay um and then if you're a male Sagittarius it's you like say for example the social side of things okay uh it could be the conversations that are improving and <clears throat> going deeper into things okay tapping into your femininity okay like, like, tell me more please Thank you. We have the Knight of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups and the Five of Swords. I want to know if this is you or how someone feels towards you. Death and rebirth. Okay, thank you. All right, there's something that feels like it's taken a long time to get to a certain place in your life. It could be what you're experiencing now or will be experiencing, okay? Because I told you there's a lot of good things coming to you, all right? Queen of Cups. You know... All right, one thing... I'm going to share this with you, uh, Sagittarius. One of the things that I personally... Uh, somebody who's spiritual, somebody who's a tarot reader, somebody who's um, a psychic, medium, whatever... Uh, as all those things that I've that I've been practicing and, and really tapping into, exercising, um, like strengthening, um, you know where it's come from? Place of loving and accepting myself, who I am and my gifts. And I feel like because you're in this space, this is this has probably been some of the things that's caused obstacles in your life at some point. OK, you were overcoming that. 
you will overcome that. And that's what's allowing you to get into this space now of a lot of abundance, um, people around you. And the thing is, we can, there's times where we're, we're we're going through things and we may have good people around us, but we're not ready for that or we're not accepting or we're going through something. We're so much, so much into our own situation. We're not ready to experience or accept um, other things, okay, that will help us. Because your mindset ch is changing now, though that's why you're experiencing this death and rebirth, okay? That's for me, this is, this yeah, number 13, which is my favourite number okay which also reminds me of a butterfly that's why i have that there because it's like being in a cocoon you know go through it and then at some point when you've you know got to a next level you spread your wings you become this beautiful version of yourself okay and you see things from a different angle because bird's eye view you are and this also makes me think of the hanged man as well um looking at things from a different perspective you're gonna you will be um for how i don't know exactly will differ from sagittarius to sagittarius but you'll be in a position where you'll be able to look at things from a diff from a bird's eye view from a different perspective okay some of you guys could be traveling as well you know like when you're on a plane or something can you like wow it is crazy how it looks from up above and stuff like that or you could be in a higher position OK, have a different role that you're stepping into, whether it's motherhood, whether it's a, um, a promotion, whether it's um, becoming a homeowner. There's a different, you know, there's something that's different where you're where you're progressing in your life and you'll be able to look at things differently. OK, love that for you. All right, I'm going to leave the general there. You've got quite a few messages out of that and move on to the love read and see what's happening there. All right, guys, if you have not already, please give the video a thumbs up. It really is um a nice way to say thank you and it's a great um, exchange of energy also okay appreciation so love let's do this one there's something about um um the, for the ones that are connecting with someone uh, romantically music is so important for you too i'm not sure if this person has sent you songs or you guys shares even if you don't share the same taste as in music like it really brings you together okay or it will for the ones who are not currently connecting with somebody okay it'll be very important for you all right very healing as well all right sagittarius and love what's going on the moon, the tower, the six of uh, wands, the five of wands, the king of wands. There's been some ups and downs to, to say the least, okay. Um, somebody is a little bit of a um, attention seeker, I will say that, or they feel like... It's intent I'm just trying to think if that's the right word for this. It feels like Yeah, it does. I'll take six of six of wands, five of wands, and the king of wands. And the way the king of wands is looking at the five of wands, which is um the way it's come out with the cards that have surrounded this, especially with the moon and the tower and the other things, it makes me feel like someone kind of causes confusion in your life. Or cross watcher that's how you feel towards a sagittarius right someone's caused a lot of confusion this feels like um there's a lot of attraction between you and this person but it really doesn't feel steady it doesn't feel stable does it feel like um it feels quite fast as well something feels quite fast even if you've been with this person for 10 years like they may be very um what's the word impulsive OK, they can be quite impulsive and make make like decisions without um, including you or you don't really know what's going on in, in regards to their like life, you know. Um, also feels like somebody goes out of their way to tell other people about the things that are happening in this connection. 
Now, some of you guys are with this person now. Some of you guys could have ended or you was with this person for a very long time. Um... How, how does this person feel towards you? The Hierophant, the Justice card, the Five of Cups, and the, and the Two of Cups. So some of you guys, you, you could be or, 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 or you were married to this person or in a long-term relationship, like I mentioned before, the Hierophant's come out. The Justice card, some... Oh... There's some kind of there could be some kind of legal matters or things got to that stage where you may want to get like a third party involved, i.e. A, a lawyer, uh, um, solicitor or something like that. Or someone it could be a counsellor. It could be there's something where it feels like. The, the connection's there. I do want to say that the connection is there, but it does feel very rocky. It feels very rocky. All the readings have been very different today. Libra, Scorpio and Sagittarius. Very, very different. There's no theme this time around. Everyone's really going through different, different things. Uh, the Chariot and the Ten of Cups. You you guys, you fall out, you, you make up. You make up, you fall out. Now... Some of you guys may have um, children with this person or been planning to have children, okay? Some of you guys are trying to get on that stage where you feel comfortable to have a family with this person or to continue in the, uh, the you know, let's just say, bring, raising the children together for those who do have children. If you don't have children, it's just being at a place where you feel comfortable to uh, be with them long term and 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 um, ensure that there's happiness in the home okay um what's the obstacle between Sagittarius and this person please the hermit somebody doesn't speak up somebody keeps to themselves and I did pick up on that as well before where someone is not always um like oh yeah I said that some some of you guys don't feel like you know a, a, a certain part of them it's coming out again the hermit it could be a Virgo you're connecting with Someone doesn't resolve conflict in a way that helps anyone. They either become silent, they don't address it, they may run away, they may um, be in a mood, okay? They could, it feels like they're very much avoidant um, a uh, type of type of individual that some of you guys could be connecting with, which will make it difficult if you're trying to progress in the connection. Because it's irritating as hell. Like that's, that's that's annoying. Yeah, it's like speak up, talk, say what you're saying, talk, express yourself, and this could be frustrating to you. Okay, um, it's not helpful. So if if you do if you do find if you are thinking, oh, that's me, and your connection isn't progressing, that's something that you may need to, like, it, it's not an overnight thing. Obviously, it's something much more deep-rooted than that, all right? So if you do feel like that's you, speak to somebody about it or address it because it's not helpful in any kind of relationship or connection or anything in life. It is just not helpful, okay? Um, it feels like someone who's gone through something traumatic, maybe whilst they was going through that traumatic thing, whether it, were, whether it was in their childhood, in a previous relationship, whatever, it could have been something much bigger than that. It might have been like a natural disaster, like a hurricane and it ruined their home or it, there could have been a war, in, it could have grown up in a war zone or something like that where they were just traumatised and they just deal with things in a certain way. To, it's almost like a self-reservation, is that the word, self-reservation or survival mode? Okay, it's like survival mode. Um, a little reminder for whoever that is, um, not to make you feel any kind of way, but just to kind of address that as well, because obviously someone's not addressing their feelings. Um, and also, I do want to be empathetic. At the same time, I have to be very real, right? Whatever happened, it happened then. 
and it's not healthy for you to continue um, living in survival mode or feeling like you have to fight everything for the rest of your life or in certain situations that um that response that you had to that situation or situations that kind of made you shut down that might have been helpful it might have felt like it was helpful at that particular time with that particular thing but in different situations in your life it's not it's not helpful okay and it will push people away and you will feel more and more alone okay so if that's you and you feel heard i hey i i feel you but make sure you're doing things to to help yourself moving forward okay all right i'm going to continue now all right so um what else is the obstacle please the 3 of cups the hem and the 3 of cups with the obstacle so I'll, t- I'll give you a little I'll, like, I'll give you a little picture of what I'm seeing all right so let's just say let's just say a, a couple a married couple okay they have an argument okay say for example the husband stop like the, the wife is halfway between a sentence the husband doesn't want to hear it he can't deal he feels like helpless he doesn't and he runs that he, he 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 leaves the home shuts the door I don't want to speak to you and then he goes down the pub or he goes to the strip club or he goes to a friend's house and drinks away his problems or gambles away his, his problems or just spend time around friends and it's not solving the issue. So not only is somebody um, avoiding addressing a situation or, or certain things that come up in the connection or in their own life before the connection, to, to kind of make things worse, they will connect with other people, whether it be friends or go, it could even be going to work and doing um, later shifts just to avoid that. That is not a way to live. And whoever that is, please don't put that person through that as well. I don't know. I feel like somebody who's doing that is listening more as opposed to the person who is being done to. Because you're clearly hurting. Someone, whether it's you or not, Someone is clearly hurting here and it's hurting others around you. Hurt people hurt people. That saying is not just like people like they're 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 hurt and they're angry and they purposely go out and hurt people. Sometimes it's as simple as some people have unresolved issues that they may not always see straight away, but because they haven't um, dealt with that, it's affecting others around them. And it feels like it's time for that to be dealt with, to looked into, okay? And I will also say we cannot do all these things by ourselves. We, we, yes, we might have been born alone. Yes, we'll die alone, but we're not here on this earth alone. There's many people who are great that can listen to that. I don't know. I feel. I don't know why I feel so strongly to say these things, but I want to say it because there's quite a few people like that in the world, okay? And I'm sure, you know, you bad people know. I'm just saying you've overly extended the survival mode of a situation that happened whenever in your childhood or in a previous marriage or previous relationship or whatever happened, whether it was with people or a situation like I mentioned before, right? It's not helpful with other areas of your life reacting like that, okay? And it comes from a place of love, yeah? It really is. All right, I wouldn't do this, guys, if I didn't care. Yeah, I really wouldn't. I wouldn't take the time to say all that. All right, um, I would just be like, okay, this person's ghosting and they're going out partying. I'm, I'm really trying to look, dive deep into it. Yeah, to make sense of why somebody is causing this kind of, um, this drama and this and this tower and this bad choices here because of unresolved trauma. Okay, I'm gonna leave it there. I've said enough. So the hell of a lot. So I'll leave it there, guys. I hope the message gets to who it needs to get to. Um, I love you all. All right. Um, if you'd like a personal reading, all the information's in the description. Have an amazing week. All right. And I'll see you guys in your next reading. Bye, guys.